squat day. A couple of disclaimers. First time using the machine. This is a six foot bar. I'm using the safety arms because I'm by myself. Um, these weights are probably going to hit the safety bar and throw me off balance. We'll see how this works. I'm not maxing out. I'm not doing any of that. There's 150 pounds total. That's bar and weights. I have a seven foot bar coming on Wednesday. So my next squat day will be better. But this is a six foot bar. So make do with what we got. As you can tell, God, we're pain in the ass. Yeah, seven foot bar is definitely the way to go. And man, I don't, I don't know how you guys do it. Like I just hate opening up that far. It's just crazy. But it's scary. I give you guys all the props in the world. I don't, I don't squat. I've only ever squatted in a, a Smith machine. Um, I give you guys all the credit in the world, man. Like the, those of you that do it all the time. That is a scary, scary workout. I don't know. Maybe it's my knees. Or what? Because I've had a knee replacement and my other knee is me. But, uh, yeah, 150 pounds I know is nothing for a squat, but to me, it, uh, feels just about right. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't want to go much further. But that also has a lot to do with hitting the weights on everything. But, uh, but yeah, for me, that's a scary exercise. <clears throat> they say not to skip leg day, but leg days are scary. <laughs> I'm assuming because I have to... Yeah. Yeah. So I'm assuming that I have these one too high because I have to lift so much to get them up and over. So I'm still learning that. So I will fix that, obviously, not right now, but I'll fix it. Um, yeah, and then with the seven foot bar, I'll clear these easy enough so that way I'm not gonna be hitting them with the weights. But uh, what I'm gonna do is drop these down one. They'll still catch me from killing myself, but they're, uh, shouldn't be in the way or at least as in the way as they are now Man, that's some scary shit My shoulders just hate rotating that far out. That's all right. I'm sure just like anything else, I'll get used to it the more I do it, but it's just, uh, yeah, it's a very, very weird motion for me, but I'm brand new at it. So, <laughs> and I'm sure once I get the wider bar and I'm not hitting knees, um, and I make the proper adjustment and drop this down one. Uh, I'll be able to, whatchamacallit, um, get a little bit deeper in the squat too. Because I feel like I'm going shallow. I definitely am not going full squat like, you know, competition, that's for sure. And I don't know if I ever will because of the knees. But this is, like, like I said, literally the first time I've ever squatted on free weights. It's always been in a Smith machine, and even then, I only have about three weeks worth of uh, practice. Two weeks. Two weeks worth of practice. So, this is all new to me. <laughs> Learning. But, like I told you guys before, I'll take you on my journey. 
this is part of my journey, learning. I got the right equipment, or at least the right equipment for my level. Uh, you know, is this completely like, oh my God, sturdy? No, but it'll hold what I need it to hold. Um, and that's all that matters. It'll hold, you know, it'll hold 250, 300 pounds without even thinking about it. So I'm not going to be pushing any further than that anytime soon. So I'm good with that. All right, I just, shoulder man, that's a, that's a weird one for me. I think the, I think I'll get more, you know, once I start benching and all that, I'll get a lot more uh, range of motion that way too. My shoulder doesn't like externally rotating like that. But yeah, I'll probably end up doing one or two more sets like that. Again, not pushing the weight heavy, not super heavy, 150 pounds, like I said, I know that's Nothing for a squat, not trying to <laughs> not trying to put it out there like I'm some sort of strong guy. Um, I'm most likely I could do a whole lot more weight, uh, but technique for me is much more important right now than pushing the weight. I want to get the technique down. I'm probably going to end up putting some sort of dot that I can focus on because right now like there's a wrinkle here that I'm looking at keeping my head straight as I go and trying not to, you know, bend and put too much weight on my back, which actually my back feels great. I don't like the bar across my back. Um, these are all things that I'm, like I said, they're completely foreign to me, but I'm on this journey. So figuring it all out. Um, it's interesting. Very, very interesting. Never done anything like it. Even in the Smith machine, it feels completely different. In a Smith machine, uh, it was so uh, tight that I couldn't even get my hand on the bar because it was so ridiculous. So I would reach out and grab the weights. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that here, obviously, but I would feel more comfortable with a squat rack that was maybe, you know, a foot, a foot wider, but then, you know, even with a seven foot bar, I'd be right on the outside of the squat rack. So um, probably have to get a custom bar by then. But anyway, this feels pretty good. I mean, I'll get a seven foot bar on Wednesday it's coming in, then I get to return this. Um, yeah, I'll do one more set on camera and then uh, call it a day. Uh, today is just squat day. Um, I don't really think I'm going to be doing anything else really. Just squats, maybe some lunges, uh, probably some sit-ups just to do some ab workout. I'm doing pretty good on the diet. I just weighed myself after dinner with the jogging pants on, not a shirt, but jogging pants on. And uh, I weigh 240 even. So that puts me at 239 night weight, you know, somewhere in the 239s. So I'm back down to like 236, 235. Um, that's fine by me. My goal is to hit 220 by uh, beginning of June and 210 by the end of August. Uh, those are the two tournaments that I want to compete in. And those are the two weight classes that I want to compete in. So uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. I feel pretty good. I feel strong. Uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to try a back pressure max just to see if I can compete with my coach. It's funny. I just about caught him in, uh, in, in all the arm wrestling specific lifts, but he hasn't been doing arm wrestling specific lifts. He's just been doing maintenance, you know, like very, very lightweight, high rep. And he's been doing more of this bench press squat and deadlift. Um, because he's not, you know, he's not preparing for anything. Well, today literally started his prep back um, to uh, to start, you know, training for the tournaments that are coming up this summer. And uh, <laughs> I caught him while he was cruising. <laughs> but now he's going to be training and just, um, yeah, so kudos to him, man. It just shows how many levels there are to this sport. It took me 12 plus weeks of busting my ass to catch him while he was just cruising. Um, and now he's gonna take off like a rocket and I'm still, you know, busting my ass, but I'm gonna be making slower and slower gains. So yeah, there's, 
there's just so many levels to this, but kudos to him. Um, yeah. But he wound up getting 120 pounds back pressure today off the same exact pulley that I have. So um, I'm going to see what I can do for back pressure tomorrow. Uh, I know my back pressure is at least 107 and a half because I lifted that with my pronation. Um, you know, and it was a, you know, it's hanging off my arm, so it's still back pressure. Um, so I know my back pressure is at least 107 and a half, probably 110. But I don't know if it's any further than that, so we'll find out. We'll find out tomorrow. It'll be interesting. Um, we'll see. We'll see how I feel because uh, I had to unload like two trucks at work today, so I'm pretty beat up in the biceps. So we'll see. So yeah, bigger bar will eliminate that crap and I'll probably lower it down by one and just duck under it a little bit more. But uh, cause these are, these uh, these right here are pretty, pretty tall, but I understand why. I mean, it's a home gym, they need to be. If somebody walks by and does something stupid. They wanna make sure it stays. So anyway, I know, newbie, I get it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy.